As I mentioned in my last video, today, being the 2nd of January, is my birthday. And, in accordance to the custom I quasi established yesterday, I'm going to complain about it. So in this video, I'll give you my thoughts on birthdays. And just a heads up, in terms of the actual festival, I do not have much objection to birthdays. So this video is more of a how not to upset lightning on his birthday manual. In case by pure chance, one of you guys are charged with the responsibility of throwing me a birthday party in the future. But anyway, onto the list. For the first one, and I cannot stress this enough, whatever you do right, don't throw me a surprise birthday party. Big surprises like that don't excite me, they stress me out. I have a certain expectation of how every day will go, and therefore I also know what exactly I intend to do in that day. As a result, any big event that falls on those days will obviously be a problem. And whilst if I'm told in advance I can be somewhat prepared, if you decide to last minute dismiss everything I intended to do that day, in lieu of whatever event you've replaced it with, especially for an event that doesn't need to happen, naturally, I'm going to be a bit stressed. Which is quite ironic when you think about it. Once I'm already at the party, feel free to surprise me all you want. But don't stress me out like that. Secondly, don't advertise the fact that it's my birthday. My sister is particularly guilty of this. For some reason, whenever it's my birthday, she feels the need to go tell everyone. Right, Spark, listen. If they don't know it's my birthday, there's probably a reason for that. Either I don't care enough about them to tell them, they don't care enough about me to find out, or, most likely, a bit of both. So what, do you intend to go around telling people the house address, or the password on your phone? Or, do you reserve it for a certain amount of people? Exactly. And finally, even if you are going to completely ignore those last two, when the guests do come over, don't expect me to suddenly transform into some super lovey-dovey amiable host. In the same way the global events don't randomly reset on New Year's, my attitude doesn't reset on my birthday. As a result, if I wasn't a fan of guests on the day before my birthday, then I'm not going to like guests on my birthday either. And random story right, on my 12th birthday the children came to my room because there was no more room downstairs and these guys were so bloody chaotic that they broke the chair that I was using with my computer because of which to this day I have to use my piano stool and obviously I wasn't very happy about that so I told them to calm down. And not only was the broken chair my fault but I also got told off for policing them. So I won't even comment on the explicit contradiction between those two statements. You've just brought some random girls to my room because you didn't want them taking up the space downstairs. Of course I'm going to have some sort of management structure. So what, you think because it's my birthday I'm supposed to just sit back and relax whilst these three bell dams molotov my room? Well of course not. So I guess the ideal birthday is one where the birthday boy is here having to worry about three human incendiary bombs whereas the adults, some of which I'd virtually never seen before, have all the fun. And that's the end of the video, and I'm not entirely sure what to say for the outro, so see you later. Oh, mm -hmm.